Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to limit the amount of CPU that Windows Defender consumes. So this is generally going to be a modification that's going to throttle how much CPU Windows Defender takes when running full scans. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I do want to address is that in the description of the video there's going to be a command. The final number in my case is going to be 50, meaning that the maximum amount that it can consume is 50% of our available CPU. However, you cannot reduce it to zero. Generally speaking, I think 50% is a pretty decent middle ground there, so it won't take too long to run scans and it won't really hamper the performance of Windows Defender that drastically. But it also will, in my opinion, prevent a lot of big spikes in usage. So that's what we're going to go with in this tutorial. If you want to change it to something else, feel free. But that's the command we're going to run. And we're going to start by opening up the Star menu. Type in PowerShell. Best match should come back with Windows PowerShell. So you want to go ahead and right click on that. And then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. Now, like I said, there's going to be a command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it and then go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste to paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard. Okay, so once you have a blinking cursor, that means you're done, so you can close out of here. Restart your computer, and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.